just going to test the screen cast here. I want to share my screen and uh, go over a few things that we'll need to take a look at for day one. The screen cast may be uh, a bit delayed. So, you know, if I'm saying something and you're not seeing the visual, don't worry, just hang with me. And uh, I think things will catch up. So I'm going to share my screen right now. We're going to take a look at Pivotal Tracker as the first uh, item that we'll go over. So we're going to Pivotal now. Everyone should have an invite to Pivotal Tracker. Um, when you get the invite, you just make a username and password. And the reason we're using this, it's a great task management tool. I'll be able to see what projects you're working on and what you're getting done on the course curriculum. Um, so, like I said, to go look at Pivotal as, as we speak. So here we go with Pivotal. Um, we're going to jump into Team 3. That's probably what everyone has access to. So you may not see all the projects that I have on my screen, but we'll click into Team 3. Make sure that you put uh, your cursor right on the Team 3 to go in. And this will take you to a dashboard. Um, you will have access to other people's stories, and I'll explain what that is when it pulls up. But just look. I tried to create each story with your name on so it's not confusing. And I always put the day of the week, the date, and your name so you know that that's your work that needs to get done for the day. And right now I'm going to walk you through um, kind of giving me updates on your task how you can check those off. And if you're running into a challenge or you want to do more, how you can alert me to that. Um, so right now I'm on my project screen. This is where I'll find all the stories. What we want to do is take a look at Monday, for instance. And I'm just going to show you by using Michael's uh, story as an example. So if you want to know what you need to do on Monday, simply find the Monday, June 6th, in the case of our first day. You'll click the arrow tab, which is on the leftmost portion of the um, current box. We're probably going to close that incidentally. Okay, i got to be a little more patient. So once the story opens, I always make the story type a feature and worth one point. So Things in Pivotal Tracker are weighted on a three-point scale. One point means they're tasks you can get done in a day. Two points means that the task may take two to three days. And three points means that it could take up to a week. You never want to do um, anything that takes over a week. So if you think like, wow, this is above a three, then divide that task into smaller parts. Um, so let's... Just say, for instance, that we want to change the state and start a task. So let's pretend it's Monday, June 6th. I'm going to go ahead and click Start. And then I'm going to start to work on the different elements within. So I always try to describe what you're doing. So we've got three exercises that um, we need to do uh, within Foundations of Programming on lynda.com. Please let me know if you're having difficulty logging into Linda. I've given instructions for that before. Um, and we also need to watch this video of, of, for uh, what is a Google Design Sprint. Google Design Sprints are a great way of shaping your thinking when you're creating um, a website. All of us need to create portfolio websites that will hold all the projects that we're working on. We want to make our capstone learning project a compilation of all that we've learned and we want to hold those smaller learning um, projects that we've done within this bigger website. So if you're asking why are we doing a Google Design Sprint, 
it is to design a very nice professional portfolio website that will hold all the projects that we're going to be working on um, by doing your lynda.com full stack developer learning path. So with that said, that's the description and then the task. When you get a task done, you just simply check the box and for whatever reason there's a strong delay on this and as you get each task done, you'll just check them down and then if for whatever reason you're having any difficulty in this activity box you can type in whatever message hey I uh, knocked out all the tasks I'm gonna move on to you know this and that always make sure you're letting me know by sending a message uh, where you're at in your process of getting things done certainly if you're running into problems let me know right away so I can help you or find someone that can help you so let's say you've checked all your tasks, you've written any messages that you feel are necessary. What we want to go up to is state again, and it says finish. The button's presently blue. We want to click that finished button, and it should say delivered. And, you, and basically, I'll see the delivered, and then I can accept or reject. In this case, just because this is an example, I'll reject. But if I know that you've done the work, of course, I'll accept it, and we'll just go back to restart but normally what would happen is you would click finished delivered I would accept and then the task would be completed and you just follow that similar format for every day of the week um, that we need to get tasks done so hopefully that makes sense and that's just a, a sample of our screencast Okay, that was a quick trial run of our screencast. Hopefully everybody has a slightly better idea of how to use Pivotal Tracker. Um, just a quick differentiation. We use Slack and Pivotal Tracker for a lot of the things that we do. Slack is a tool that we use to kind of put up information that we think will be relevant to the general group. So let's say in our um, Slack channel that pertains to this third incubator class, you find a simple video on how to quickly get things up on GitHub. That is a perfect uh, video to put into our Slack channel. It's also a way for us to do kind of a longer form direct messages if we want to communicate with one another and it's not directly related to a specific task. It's just something, you know, maybe um, something's come up and you need to, uh, you know, have 15 extra minutes to get into a class that you're going to attend that's the place uh, or you can use slack to direct message me um, but for things specifically related to coursework and tasks we will use pivotal tracker once again for things specifically related to coursework and tasks pertaining to coursework we'll use pivotal tracker because that gives me a very clear-cut idea of where you're at um, you know within our syllabus and all the things that we need to get done so if you have any questions on what Slack uh, will be used for and what Pivotal Tracker will be used for, um, feel free to either email me or direct message me in our Slack channel. Thanks so much.